meet. Greetings, Master Detective. The disappearance of George Pritchard eight days ago has caused an upheaval in the royal family. Not only is he a valuable employee, he is also a dear friend of mine. His last known location was Huxley's boarding house. George has always been interested in obscure historical places. Though they are never without peril, I fear for his safety. The task of finding him falls to you, Master Detective. Sincerely yours, the Queen. Ah uh, yes, guys. This is this is the beta, but this is mystery case files broken now, guys. The latest, all the more. It looks like they aren't doing a Raven Hearts one, as far as I can tell so far. But I'm hoping they aren't anyway, because I'm just hoping. So let's just play customization. That's well, good. Let's do it. House rules, 9.30 p.m. lights out. Cool. Sebastian, I can't start the van on my own. <laughs> I'm not wasting my time on that rattle trap of yours, Hal Benjamin. Hey! Hey, you! Uh, can you lend me a hand? Get into the driver's seat. I'll push and give you instructions. If you can't hear me, just honk the horn. Okay. Oh, we have the book back. Yes. First, push in the clutch. Just put something heavy on it. Quick. Hurry! Before the geospazer implodes. Put the van into neutral. Quick, turn on the engine. The key should be around. Oh, yes, it's alive. And no one exploded. That's a win-win. True. Listen, I have to tell you... Oh, whoops. It's dinner time. I have to run. So, now we have a, um... Case file. I've missed that. There's the Emma Ravenheart stock right there. Sweetness. Ooh. That looks like a hint. That looks like a cameo from, um, Thirteen Skull. Oh man, I am hyped. And so, another soul wanders into Huxley's boarding house. I'm Mr. Harold, the landlord. I basically will be playing this as long as the demo allows me to until it either crashes on me and never, start and never starts again or whatever. Before you ask me anything, you must familiarize yourself with our house rules. They're strict, but they're effective. Many of our guests, whimsical as they are, find themselves much changed by the rules. 
Our patrons are all experts in their chosen field. Surely I'd remember a royal photographer. Of course, you're welcome to check the ledger yourself, Master Detective. Of course. I must be getting old. Mr. Pritchard was here. He checked in eight days ago. How irresponsible of him to leave such an important document. It's good he left it, though. Honestly, I'm sick to death of people forgetting their belongings. It happens all the time. I just started dumping them all in one place. This key opens the donation box at the Angel's feet. If Mr. Pritchard left anything else behind... That's where you'll find it. Uh, before I get back to work, there's something you should know. Uh, Mr. Pritchard did quarrel with another guest. I didn't want to interfere. Between you and me, the guest is a bit, uh, obsessed with the paranormal. If anything happened to Mr. Pritchard, he's your man. Now, uh, do excuse me. That's interesting. Oops, sorry. Huh. The common room is off limits. Guests gather there after dinner, and I just had it cleaned. I will not allow you to interrupt dinner before its end at 8.30. Besides, don't you have a box to unlock? Okay. Wow. Now we best get to look at our keys file, and that's something I've missed doing a lot. Well, that's a problem. Key, key, key. I will not allow you to interrupt dinner before. I get it. Trying to figure out what I'm doing here. Our first in an object scene. Okay. <laughs> I love oh hi spider I love the fade out effect in this game
know the old familiar spinning mouse thing. Well, Epix, you might have done good this time. You might have actually have done good. What I'm seeing so far. Hey G man, meet me in the Van Cath Cave after dinner. Okay. What is this? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Now what am I doing? Press them all in. No, don't. Well, I don't want to waste my time here. I really don't. Ah, okay. I still have to press in. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna need to pay off. Ugh. <laughs> Never have a pen for these situations. Excuse me. Um, let's see. Give me a moment. Okay. So. No, that's not gonna work. Yep. Something. Because otherwise, I'm doomed. 
die a horrible, painful death of death weariness. This is not going to work. That'll work. Alright, so... Putting X's on the ones that work goes. Got it. Oh, you know what I could have showed down? I should have taken a screenshot of it. So, one, two, three. That one. That one. That one. That one. That one. I don't like wasting this game's time limit because I know this game has a limit to it. And I'll be very mad if the game dies on me while I'm trying to solve the very first puzzle. Oh, cool. We're in Scotland? Nice. It's a nice place. I do say so myself. Very good. Very good, Epix. Very good choice of place. Okay, give just hang on. Just hang on. All right now. There you go. No trespassing. Okay, I'm near at the end of my rope. This, this stupid time schedule Mr. Hell keeps us on is making my investigation practically impossible. I've already broken the rules twice, Mr. Hell told me that one more time, and I'm out. I'm going to have to ask for help from one of the other guests. <laughs> I already have someone in mind. I doubt it too, but you never know. We might, you never know. It's true. Now, out here, there's a switch. Right here. That is a really cool spring thing.
Really cool. Have a seat, why not? It's not like I'm working. Between the writer's block and having to use that ancient typewriter, it's practically the dark ages around here. Sorry, that was a bit rude. I'm Rachel. I'm a writer from London. Mr. Harold called to tell me about a vacancy here. Hey, you're a detective. Maybe you can help me make some sense of this. Maybe. Because I'm an awesome detective. I found it my first night here. This house is certainly full of mysteries, isn't it? I tried to solve it on my own, but I had to clear out all of that photographer's things when I arrived. Talk about a mood killer. Oh, is it one of these puzzles that I did in the other pre in the previous Epix game? I really do not like this, those. Oh, that did something. We don't have time to solve this puzzle. Probably we'll solve it when the full game comes. Oh, she died so young. Ben thinks that her ghost still haunts the house. It's absolute rubbish. Ghosts aren't real. You're wrong. Meredith is still alive. Well, I mean, sort of. Her ghost is, anyway. I'll prove it. Oh, wonderful. It's Ben. That's my cue to go to bed. Good night. You know about the wax moth? That's quite good, actually. Because I need another favor from you. And what is that? My mate George and I planted some audio bugs around the house. We were gonna listen to the recordings later, but he never showed up. He must still have my camcorder. So here, take my cassette player. It's dead as a doornail. But it's what's inside that counts, right? My van's out of power, but... No! Oh, is that the time? Sorry, I've gotta run. It's nearly bedtime. Nah, you can't. It'd be worth it, though. I'm actually quite busy. Please move along and let me finish my chores.
Nope. It's not an ordinary boring house, that much is certain. You get you have a correct the correct feeling to feel, detective. I believe you are mistaken, Emily. Meredith Negless must be in the restricted part of the house, on the first floor. Those doors hide other marvels, dear Sebastian, like all of Doctor Huxley's medical research. <laughs> Well, it seems the only way to see who is right is to open the doors. We'll have to work together. Shh, someone's here. Eavesdropping, are we? Such manners. Please excuse us. It's time for us to return to our rooms. <laughs> Alright, um, we'll be right back. Please like and subscribe because there's always room for one more.